Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today we are filming on location at You Can Dance Studio in St. Louis, Missouri. So thanks so much to Stan and Mary for letting me take over their studio. And thanks to the adorable Betty for modeling her dress. If I remember the story correctly, Betty, this was your very first dress, but now you've been dancing for 18 or 19 years. Yes. It's a Lynn Wallander dress, and you bought it off the rack right. at a competition, I presume? Well, actually, I bought it online. Oh, okay. See, I went online before a competition because I knew I needed a dress and all my co-workers are sitting at my desk with me and we're looking at dresses and this one won. <laughs> I imagine the reason you bought this is because you like the contrast of the yes. pink and the black. So let me run through the design elements of this dress that probably show up very well on the floor. So if you'll face the camera, please, ma'am. This is a really bluish magenta as opposed to a pink that has a lot of orange in it. So I like the blue, the blue tones, the bluish pinks, better with the black than I would like this if it was an orangey pink. Just because for my palette, my tastes, I think these are better colors together. I like this graphic shape. There is um, two rows. It's funny because I can tell this is old school rhinestoning because rhinestone patterns have changed so much in the last 10 years and this dress is 18 or 19 years old now. It's in great shape. There's no snags. It was really well made. So it's got this great swirl, and then go ahead and keep, it's this piping around the bottom of the sleeves and the skirt I really like because it's a splash of color without necessarily making Betty look any shorter because we are not tall women. <laughs> okay, keep going please ma'am. All right, we have similar patterns. Go ahead and lift your arm forward a little bit so they can see the side. Perfect. Great. So we've got a big pop of color here. Keep going. Now, Betty, you said you added the strap to the back because yes. you feel like you have more bust support yes. in that. All right, keep going, please, ma'am. And then on this side, we have a really simple, classic black side. If you've followed me for a while, you know that I always love asymmetrical dresses. I think it covers a multitude of sins, so to speak. Good thing about having a big pop of color on one side, not on the other side, is that it really makes the viewer's eye go right to that area. So, if you have areas that you want people to not look at, make their eye look somewhere else. Betty, now you said you um, do a lot of your own sewing yes. and do a lot of your own alterations. You know what, I'm gonna trade places with you okay. so that we can talk more about, because that way that side's showing at the camera more. Uh, this was originally a pasta doble dress, you said correctly. Yes. And when you bought it for off the Lynn Wallander website, did you, um, the cheek, was it two layers at the time? And it was just clustered up on Actually, one hip? Actually, it was three layers, I believe. Okay. And it was clustered up at the hip. And I talked to her and told her what I wanted. She said, well, we can make that change for right. you. And you so. wanted to be able to use it as a smooth, smooth. dress, yes. correct? Yes, I didn't even know possibly at the time. Do you still wear this dress as a smooth dress? I haven't worn this dress in maybe, 10 years. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm really pleasantly surprised what good condition this is in. So one of the things that can happen as stretch fabrics age is that they lose their resiliency, kind of like a swimsuit does when you're in the chlorine in the water, or the fabric just starts disintegrating. This fabric is in, it still really has a lot of body. It's got a lot of support. And it, whenever I tug on it like that, it snaps back where it should. What do you like the least about this dress? I don't like how the bust feels. Okay. That's, that's what I like the least about it. One of the things that I notice when she's in this dress is that it's too short vertically. And this is not, not a dressmaker issue, it's just an issue with buying a ready-made dress versus either making it yourself or having a dress custom made because it's almost impossible to get everything perfect. Now, before we turn the camera on, I peeked at Betty's bum, which I <laughs> promised her I would not do on camera. And indeed, her tush is hanging out. It does not, it's not cut well over the tush. 
And so what happens is that it's riding up over her bum and it's also pulling down on her chest here. And that was the first thing I noticed when she put this dress on. So if you are making a dress or if you want to do your own alterations, the best thing to do would be to lengthen the stride so that the whole bodice can come up and then it would sit a little higher right on your breasts because right now it's pushing them down. However, because your bum is already hanging out, you would then basically want to put in an entirely new panty. Given the age of this dress, you might not want to put the time into that. But since you know how to sew, it only take you a few hours. So that would be a really good alternative for Betty to make this dress feel a lot better on her. Or if you're buying a dress and your bum is already completely covered, just add an inch or two or maybe two and a half to five centimeters, whatever you need in length so that it lets the dress ride up. Conversely, because of the pure physics of fabric, if you sold this dress to someone my size or a little bit smaller, then the dress would very likely be long enough because the fabric is not stretched out. If you sold the dress to someone wider than you are, then it would be even shorter because fabrics can only go so many ways. So if you're gonna keep the dress, I'd probably change the panty since you know how to sew. Then um, my other suggestion would be to not mess with the bra cups until you shift the bottom because once oh. you let all of that come up, the bra cups inside may actually be hitting so that they feel a whole lot better instead of fitting halfway on your breasts. So if they still don't feel comfortable after that, take them out and then either sew in a bra that you like, just because the back mm -hmm. is, oh, the back is yeah, not high back. enough. So um, go to the thrift store, get a well-fitting bra, not something that fits poorly because that defeats the purpose yes. of doing the work. And then just, you'll cut it off at the sides and just tack it in as if it was bra cups. And that way you've got some lift and breast support. But it really may do the trick when you add to the panting and, and just let that whole thing shift up. The, um, Go ahead and turn towards the back one more time, please. Actually, you know what? Do you have any questions for me regarding all that? Because I don't know if you were expecting me to give you that bit of advice. I but wasn't, it's a, but that's good advice because I had never thought of mm -hmm. changing, and I could do that. Oh yeah, you totally Change could. Change the panty on the... If you have found value in today's video, please share it with all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll make sure you get my newsletter and any sewing school information. Also, if you have any comments about Betty's dress, leave it below. Tell me what's your favorite part. What would you change to make this dress look good on you? Thanks so much to Betty, Thank you. as well as Mary and Stan, the owners of You Can Dance in St. Louis, Missouri. And I will talk to you again another time.